Now, the board of the Kenya Medical Supplies Authority, which is KEMSA, confirms that the organizational reform efforts have been stepped up to position the authority as an effective player in the local healthcare system. Following the inauguration, the board immediately commenced on a process to institute an organizational rejuvenation strategy. The report has revealed challenges in critical functions within the authorities that deserve to be expeditiously addressed. The challenges identified in the report confirm that KEMSA, as an authority, is currently grossly underperforming and largely unable to meet clients' urgent needs, particularly the delivery of essential medicines and products to the counties, referral hospitals, and to the programs. This has indeed endangered the lives of Kenyans. The board has issued general notice letters to all staff working with KEMSA this morning. All non-core staff members have been released to work from home as the necessary consultations progress. The core operating teams and the caretaker management team have been notified, appointed, and mobilized to ensure seamless operations in the intervening period. The board confirms that the necessary interventions have been put in place to avoid undue disruptions to service delivery and the day-to-day -day operations of KEMSA. The release of all staff to work from home is a procedural formality to facilitate the review of the organizational structure, and this will be undertaken expeditiously to ensure that the staff complement is fit for purpose and within the approved staff establishment levels. All staff, all staff will be engaged and appraised. They will all be engaged and appraised throughout the notice period. And then there's the issue of psychosocial support, which the board has taken into consideration, and the necessary counseling and psychological support will be availed to all, all staff with no exception. I'll be working from home as per the directive uh, from uh, the board. Although I don't know the kind of work which I'll be working from home, because uh, the work which we normally do here as the procurement, it involves documents, and those documents are here. And the documents, the public documents, and nobody is allowed to go with them out of this organization. So whatever we'll be working from home, maybe these are just a sack. There's no working from home. This is sucking. No working from home. Our work involves working from here. We engage the suppliers from here. Myself, I've not received the letter, but uh, the letter is talking about the financial crisis, uh, which we are having here in Kemsa. There's nothing, unless it is contained in that letter, there's nothing we are aware about. Nothing, nothing. The board, they all have years, so we have been hearing that we are going to receive letters, and uh, today has come. We have received letters, and effective tomorrow, fifth, I've not received the letter, but the letters are being issued as we talk. Even me, after here, I'm going to receive my letter. In procurement, we are an average of 50, 50 staff. Uh, we didn't have issue with the procurement department. Uh, you see, when you talk of the entire supply chain of leather procurement, there's a source where it is, should start. And it, it starts with the identification of needs. Once the needs are identified, then they do the planning. And the work of the planning is other departments which involve the counties because they're supposed to know the commodities which are supposed to, to be supplied to the counties. So the work of the procurement is only to implement those plans.
a defender can say it's still a priority. Which is in a crisis, financial crisis. How much are we talking about? Swahili. Yes, yes. With my Swahili expert. <laughs>